You don't know what you want, where you stand, there's no plan except the one with the big old label goals for the future. What's up everybody, Do right back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about Six Days in Fallujah because they just came out with their first gameplay trailer and I just really wanted to talk about it. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the gameplay starts at around 30 seconds. This video is only like six minutes long by the way, but it seems like parts of it are live action stuff and I'm not really too interested in that. And it seems to me as if they're going to be narrating as you go throughout the game. I'm assuming that this is for like a uh, story campaign mode because I'm pretty sure this isn't going to be happening in multiplayer and yes i believe this game is going to have multiplayer keep in mind the developers haven't said that this game is going to have multiplayer but they put it down for a maybe but anyways so at the 30 minute mark we actually see him walking throughout some part of felucia then as he's about to round the corner he sees a dude the guy across the way yells at him and the soldier replies with there's one in the alley there i kind of hope that this isn't one of those games where your character talks even though you want them to not talk like i hope that it's one of those things where you actually call it out yourself and not have your player character give yourself away you know, give your position away. But anyways, both the combatant and the player character decide to take cover. But as the player character is taking cover, he actually takes a couple of pot shots at the dude and he completely misses him. This kind of leads me to believe that the dude that's playing here has either a controller or he's just a really bad shot or a really bad player. Because I feel like throughout this trailer, he ends up missing a lot of shots that I could easily make. He's either playing on console or he's just a bad player. This is an IGN video, so it only makes sense. But anyways, the player character takes cover and you actually get to see like this around the corner animation i guess around the corner behind cover shot where like the gun kind of like snaps to the right side of the cover and you can like kind of like see the gun tip upwards showing the top of the sights there that's an interesting mechanic i think modern warfare had something like this although it didn't like move your gun upwards like that at least i don't think it looks like an interesting way to shoot but the question is does that actually stabilize the weapon or is it just kind of just like an aesthetic sort of pleasing sort of thing or whatever i mean throughout the video the dude misses a lot of shots so it's hard for me to tell if that actually helps him or not but anyways so he pushes through the alley there and he ends up firing through the cover or at least i think it is through the cover at no point does it look like he actually hits the dude but it looks like he definitely hits the cover so that kind of leads me to believe that you can actually shoot through some of these walls i'm assuming because at some point he does say down he's gone i got him i got you alley looks clear it's funny that he says that though because i don't see a freaking body anywhere like did the body like disappear or go away as soon as he killed him because i must have watched this like multiple times and i didn't see a body anywhere and maybe it fell off to the far left there i just don't see it but anyways so he circles around the corner and he sees a bunch of enemies like down the road and he takes a bunch of shots at him and then they show off a brand new mechanic that i've only seen like somewhere else like back in brothers in arms days Brad, hurry up get over there you heard him let's move that way full speed Oh! Heavy base of fire! Where you're basically ordering your squad to open fire, possibly taking cover. One of the developers explains it here. Suppressing fire! That was the go command. One tap issues orders to your team, based on what you're pointing at. Yep. Pin enemies in place with suppressive fire, while you flank. Order your team to stack on a door. Breach it! Open the door! On it. The go command makes it as easy to direct your team as it is to fire your weapon. Go, go, go! Yeah, this is exactly like the mechanics that were featured in Brothers in Arms. I really miss that game. If they actually do plan to actually go this route, which obviously they're going to be doing that, I kind of hope that they go in depth, take a lot of the mechanics that were in Brothers in Arms, make it so that you can order your guys to stay at a position to fire, just take cover, or charge an enemy if you really wanted to. All right, but anyways, they show a bit more of that mechanic where you kind of like lean off the side of your wall, and it seems like you can really go pretty far with this. This kind of looks like the leaning shot from Escape from Tarkov, except it's more of a, like a set thing, but I have to wonder how accurate you are with these shots. 
that. I imagine not that accurate. So then he orders his guys to stack up on this door here, and then he fires into the windows while his guys charge in. I'm not really sure if that's beneficial or not. Maybe it serves as some sort of distraction as these guys push in. I don't know. This is kind of the end of that scene there, and it goes back into live action. We're gonna skip this part and head over to the rest of the thing here. So to me, it seems like this is actually gonna go into a cutscene as soon as you get inside of this building, because it kind of looks like it actually gets into one. Maybe it's just a way to have a deeper impact on the story, but uh, yeah. I'm still not entirely sure if this game actually has cutscenes. I don't think they've ever mentioned that, but I mean, they're trying a lot of cinematics, so I am to assume that they do have some. But anyways, then they go on to talk about how the buildings are going to be completely different every time that you get into one. They're going to be randomly generated so that you don't expect the same thing every time. They actually showed off how the map completely changes. Like, you're still going to be in Felucia, but each building is going to be different, and I also assume that the AI is going to spawn in different places too. So after showing off that all the houses are basically randomly generated, they cut back to the gameplay. They show the character in a house that looks cleared out, then he walks up to a door and you see the door animation and it doesn't look too bad. He opens up the door and then he orders the squad mate to watch that door. As he's watching the door, he walks up to the second floor to see what's going on outside. He opens up the door upstairs and you just see a ray of sunshine, like an unrealistic ray of sunshine, like you've never been outside before. And all of a sudden he's hit by a bunch of freaking gunfire. Like I don't even know how the hell you can see out of these doors. When he starts firing here, it looks like he's just shooting at like mini shadows, but he eventually pushes out into the ledge and starts firing at people that I can actually see. it is like what the hell is he shooting at and it seems like to me that he's missing a lot of his shots and after that it kind of cuts to black and you hear the guys talking again talking about his father and son i kind of don't want to get into that because i don't want to spoil it for myself you know we're just kind of here for the gameplay so yeah it, it looks like it gets back to like some sort of cutscene. actually this is in game and they search through the house with their lights on clearing the rooms He's ordering his guys to go up, st up the stairs. So it seems like you could go through pretty big houses. Or maybe this is just like uh, part of the levels, maybe? Seems like you could also run into hostages. So not every house is going to have somebody shooting at you. You're going to have to actually watch your fire, it seems. And that's pretty much it when it comes to the gameplay. The rest of it is all just story, and I kind of don't want to get into that just yet because I'd rather have a surprise than actually try to, you know, spoil it for myself. But they actually did give us quite a bit of gameplay here. And to be honest, the gameplay doesn't look too bad. I think I've definitely seen worse gameplay. I'm just kind of wondering how it is. Like, is it gonna be like a linear type of thing where like the game kind of like fades out and then you go into a chapter or a cutscene or is it gonna be open world because the whole randomly generated thing and they showed an entire freaking map i'm very 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 curious so yeah what are your guys' thoughts what did you think of the gameplay did you think it was bad did you think it was good did they show enough do you care about the story do you think it's actually gonna have multiplayer i've heard from the developers that it wasn't a top priority but we'll see i think if the game isn't gonna have multiplayer i'm still gonna play it anyway because it does look good and this is for sure completely different from the six days in Felucia that we saw back in 2010. This is definitely not the same game. Or I'm not even sure if it's made by the same people. Oh, actually, they did, they did say that, huh? The heads of the people that were working at the previous company that was working on six days in Felucia were actually on this game, but they obviously have like a slightly different vision of it. But anyways, this is definitely going to be an exciting game to try and see and play, watch the veterans that were actually in the fight actually talk about it to see what their experience was like. Definitely can't wait to see it. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to end the video right there. If you enjoyed the fact that I could games like six days in felucia then be sure to like the video share the video and comment down below if you're someone that's new to the channel be sure to subscribe and ding the bell you never know you might find something that you like on the channel i cover a lot of tactical games stick around if you're someone that would like to support the channel be sure to check out my patreon just send two bucks a month it really helps and with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye